Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to the very first GCP this month. We've been waiting to release this show for over a year now and we're finally doing it. We're creating this new show to let you know about all the awesome news, happenings, events and analysis on what Google is doing in the cloud space. We aim to release this show on a monthly basis and with this new show, we're mixing it up from the old format that you might have seen in AWS Energy Hour this week. We'll be going through GCP Quick Bytes to give you rapid fire updates on all the medium sized releases. We'll then move into GCP Gems and mention ACG's handpicked releases from the news. And these are releases that we've found to be most interesting. We'll then finish up with any other notable news from Google or GCP, followed by our GCP edition of Guru of the Month. So, welcome to the inaugural GCP this month with me, Julian Pittis. Google have already released a number of exciting services and they've appeared in the news more times than the amount of public S3 buckets. <laughs> We've carefully chosen the biggest events this year to make sure that you're getting all the updates that you need to get up to speed on GCP. Let's kick off this show with our first Google Quick Bytes. Google Cloud Function now supports Go version 1.11. WebSocket support has been added to App Engine flexible environments. Scheduled snapshots are now available in beta and will allow users to create automated snapshots for Google Cloud Compute Engine instances, as well as manage snapshot retention. Cloud Firestore has gone GA, and they've also announced lower pricing tiers and enabled Firestore in more locations. There are seven new client libraries for Cloud Key Management Service, and BigQuery Sandbox has been released, allowing new users to experience with BigQuery at no cost. Now on to our gems. Google have launched a new region in Zurich to support Swiss and European businesses. This edition is the sixth region in Europe. All the Southern European countries like Italy, Spain, Southern France, Portugal, and all the Eastern European countries would have had to choose their closest region as Frankfurt. With the new Zurich region, those countries will have lower latency connections in the tens to hundreds of milliseconds. Now, when a new region is released, only the core services are available, but GCP work on rapidly increasing the available of the other services to the new region. Now, this is great news for those businesses who were on GCP but needed lower latency. And it could also be GCP's response to the AWS Paris region or the announced Switzerland North and Switzerland West regions in Microsoft Azure. Google have identified a skill gap for specialized skills on the Google Cloud, and they've released four new certifications to address this issue. The four new role-based certifications for Google Cloud are the Professional Cloud Developer, the Professional Cloud Network Engineer, the Professional Cloud Security Engineer, and the G Suite certification. The certification structure for Google Certs differs quite a bit from AWS. GCP in general have a lot less services when compared to AWS, but AWS release new services majority from what the customers request, where Google seem to keep their platform and service offering a lot more deliberate to keep the platform very cohesive. The exams themselves will test whether you know what's actually going on under your systems, the underlying data flows, as well as how to troubleshoot these systems. To make sure that you're prepared for the certification courses, ACG have been pulling all the stops to get you the highest quality GCP training courses on the market. We currently have two courses released. The first is called Introduction to GCP, and this takes you through all of Google's service offerings and introduces you to the Google Cloud platform. This is an excellent way to start off in GCP if you have no prior knowledge on the platform. The second is the Google Certified Associate Cloud Engineer course. Now this course is built on top of the introductory course, and it prepares you to take and pass the Google Certified Associate Cloud Engineer exam, or ACE for short. The ACE exam is seen as the entry point into the world of GCP certifications. So if you do plan on getting certified, this is the logical starting point. We currently have lots more GCP content on its way, and there's a number of labs in development that will help you easily create Google Cloud resources. So if you do have the time and you want to skill up on GCP, definitely go check them out. For all you decision makers out there sitting on the fence whether or not to use GCP, this next bit of news might be enough to tip you over the edge. Google's been named a leader in the 2019 Gartner Magic Quadrant for data management solutions for analytics. And if that's not enough to sway you, they've also been named a leader in Forrester Wave for big data NoSQL in 2019. Gartner is the world's leading research and advisory company, and Forrester is an American market research company. Each year, these two companies do in-depth research into a range of different topics to provide businesses with insight into the market from a third-party neutral perspective. To be named a leader in any of the quadrants and waves is huge, and GCP were named in both. For those of you that have always wanted to move to GCP, the Google Cloud Platform have now released the Cloud Services Platform in beta, or CSP. 
CSP was announced at Google Next last year, and it's a platform that simplifies building, running, and managing services on-prem and in the cloud. It integrates with Google Build's deployment and monitoring tools, and it's built on top of the Kubernetes engine. This allows you to run Kubernetes on your existing infrastructure, which is amazing for those companies that have always made big investments with on-prem hardware, but they wanted to utilize cloud technology. When deploying your application, you can choose to deploy to the cloud or on-prem, and when you're ready to migrate your application to the cloud, you can do so with a few button clicks. Google have also announced CSP Config Manager, and this allows you to create multi-cluster policies out of the box. It allows monitoring of environment changes from your desired state, it blocks unimproved changes, and it also alerts you to unexpected variations. It's clear that Google's pushing hard on the hybrid cloud approach by containerizing your existing applications, allowing for easy migration in the future. Considering that they're focusing heavy on containerization tech with Kubernetes and Istio, it would make sense for them to develop a solution like CSP to help onboard companies to the Google Cloud Platform. In other news, Google's NoSQL database service called Bigtable has gone regional and worldwide. This allows customers to create replicated clusters in any zone, which will decrease latency by bringing the data closer to their users. This also allows them to aggregate ingested data to a single location and it allows them to perform analytics and machine learning on the data. Customers can choose to create a cluster at any point in time, and all the data in the current region will be bulk replicated along Google's global private network to the new region. Then all future writes will be written to any of your clusters and replicated to the other clusters. Now to finish off, I wanted to let you all know about Google Cloud Next. For those of you who don't know Google Cloud Next, it's Google's massive annual cloud conference. This conference is where Google releases all their large cloud-related announcements and products, and it finishes up with a massive party. They've recently released the session guide, which helps list out all the sessions available at the conference. This is the perfect time to let you know that the gurus will be coming to Google Cloud Next in San Francisco. We'll be wearing our ACG t-shirts and we'll be mingling with the crowds, so please don't be afraid to come and say hi. We're currently looking for GCP instructors, either on a full-time or a freelance basis. And we also love to chat about our current content and what's coming up. Now, our new GCP show will be pretty boring without a guru of the month. Since this is the first show and it's just been released, we don't actually have any winners yet. But we have posted a question on our Facebook page below. Our winner will be announced on our next show along with the awesome prize packs for each monthly winner. So keep your eyes peeled and your cloud brain ready. That's all we have for this month, Cloud Gurus. Tune into next month's video where we'll have some great announcements from Google Cloud Next Conference. I'm Julian Pittis, and I'll see you next time on GCP This Month. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Bye.